Another alert now. Startling new information from Border Patrol. More than 3,700 illegals apprehended in one day. That's the largest daily number in more than a decade. William Lodgett has been on the border quite a bit. He's live in L.A. from our bureau today. William? Well, Bill, right now you have a perfect storm of factors coming together. Many in Congress and the media are in denial, saying these numbers are fake news. And there's no deterrent, no consequence, no jail, no fine, no deportation. And there's also an unlimited supply of Central Americans making $5 a day when they can make five fifteen dollars an hour here. Just last week, agents released 1,000 migrants in San Antonio, 2,200 McAllen, 2,000 in El Paso. The moment they've crossed the center of that Rio Grande, they have violated our law and they've entered the country illegally. We have an obligation to interdict anybody or anything that crosses outside of port of entry. So Monday near Phoenix, agents dropped 800 migrants on the side of the road, forced by court orders that after 20 days in custody or eight hours in a bus, they must be released. So add this up. Officials expect 100,000 apprehensions in March alone. That is like filling a football stadium. So you can multiply that by 12 over a year. That's a million apprehensions, larger than the population of San Francisco. Most arrive destitute. Their children will attend school, receive free breakfast and lunch, and in many states qualify for subsidies, lawyers, health care, child care, food stamps, housing, and cash. Still, many in Congress oppose prioritizing defense money to improve border security. The comment that funding a border wall out of the Department of Defense is also unbelievably irresponsible. And I won't even get into the debate here about the wisdom of that border wall. So Secretary Nielsen is in Central America Day trying to hammer out a deal. There's a new caravan, 2500 bill, coming north there in Chiapas right now. But unless Congress acts, which is unlikely, it's going to get worse before it gets better. William Lodgett, stunning number in one day. Thank you from Los Angeles.